So I think let's go into the unboxing and review of this pen. So this is an Estabrock clearly and it says the right pen for the way you write. Now it is a small pen box and honestly I am starting to like smaller pen boxes. You'll see here it's the JR or Junior and it's the Paradise Blue Breeze fountain pen. So I think let's unbox this pen and here you'll see it comes in this cloth case and this is uh, again a quite a rigid case so uh, it's a nice sort of pencil or pen like case that you could store some pens in take them with you if you wanted to now if i open the box here you'll see it says america's original reborn now reborn is an important fact here because Estabrook, as you will see here, was founded in 1858, but it went out of business in 1971. It's now resurrected and under new management by Kenro Industries in the US of A. Uh, this is a pocket fountain pen, and you'll see here a uh, activation code for your warranty if you want to, and it gives you a little bit of history here about uh, Estabrook and the Estabrook legacy continuing today with the same core values established in 1858 to make pens of the highest quality to be used and enjoyed by all who value communicating with the written word. And I think most of you who are watching this video will agree the written word is something that we all like to do because that's what brings us here to these pens. Now, this box is a little bit interesting. It does collapse a little bit. So uh, you can sort of uh, easily open the box. Now, it does come with a short international cartridge. Uh, there's nothing else uh, under this pen bed, but you do get the pen as well. So let me remove this uh, pen and we'll put that case together again so this is the j uh, or jr i should say so the original estabrook j was uh, the estabrook sleep and suave classic pocket pen from the 1940s and 1950s the new jr pen is an homage to bring back the original j pen in a modern look with material offered in three colors uh, capri blue carmine red and tuxedo black now, the new JR here, you'll see, is part of what they call the Paradise Collection, which Estabrook called the On the Rocks with Salted Rim and a Twist. And yes, the model names, you'd guess it, are the Lemon Twist, the Orange Sunset, and this beautiful Blue Breeze. Now, you can see here, this is a, quite a stunning uh, chatoyance material here. You'll see that the pen is also semi-translucent as well. So you can actually see uh, what would be a converter here. And uh, from, from that perspective, you would also be able to see your ink level through the body of the pen, which is quite interesting. You have the uh, Estabrook Capfinial logo there, which is uh, laser etched. You have a clip here as well which is quite springy. Now, you, if you look here, it is a pocket-sized pen, so it tapers out a little bit to this midpoint. You have a cap band here, and that cap band does say Estabrook, and there's nothing else on that cap band. Uh, there is a bit of a step down onto the body, and the body diameter is the same. You get another band here, and then you get it tapering out a little bit to, again, a another finial uh, gold finial now this does not unscrew you think it might be a piston knob but it, it's not now if i unscrew the cap you'll see here a very small number five size nib and uh, colt pens asked what size nib i would like to review and i said a medium or broad and they sent me a medium here so you have the estabrook logo uh here and you can see that now the the nibs are a steel nib um, they come in extra fine fine medium broad 1.1 stub and also a special journaler nib as well 
Now the, the cap is threaded, uh, so you can see that here, just screws on and unscrews. And the pen here, if I unscrew the section, you'll see here, it is a standard international converter and uh, it does actually have, uh, you'll see it here, it does say Estabrook. So it is a branded converter. It's not a screwing converter, it's just a pushing converter. But uh, that will hold around 0.7 milliliters of ink. Now, it is a pocket pen, so it's a thin pen. Uh, it's a fairly short pen, but it's not massively short. You can see it in my hand here. I'd say it's probably around the size of a lot of pens that I actually own in my collection. Uh, the, the shorter or mid-range sort of length pens, I would say. Now, can I post the cap? I can do, and it does become a lot longer. So if you are a cap poster, um, then you can do that. Now, it won't actually feel back weighted because that cap is very light. And I'll show you that when we do the weight check. But for me, this is a nice little pocket pen. So you can see once you put the cap on, it really is quite a short pen here. But this material is quite nice. I do like that um, it's very much like an ocean sort of swirl going on there in, in that chatoyance, in that material. Uh, they call this the blue breeze, and I could almost call this an ocean breeze because uh, it is actually quite nice. But uh, I think the blue breeze probably, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's probably a cocktail because you have the lemon twist, the orange sunset, and then the blue breeze. So uh, I think the blue breeze is probably a, a very fitting name for this pen. So... I think with that, let's do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So, the length of the pen, we are looking at about 126 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we are looking at 56 millimeters in length. So, as I've already mentioned, this is actually a smaller pen for sure. And then the length of the pen itself without the cap to the tip of the nib or tip of the tines, we're looking at about 118 millimeters in length. So it is a short pen, but it still fits nicely in my hand here. So I think with that, we'll do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen, we are looking at just under 18 and a half grams. So, so that is quite a light pen. The weight of the cap, we're looking at, wow, six grams. So you can see why that this isn't a back weighted pen if you post the cap, because six grams is super light. And then the weight of the pen in your hand, if you're not posting the cap, you are looking at just under 11 grams in weight so so again that is a very lightweight pen uh, i typically haven't really used many pens this light before so uh, it's actually quite an interesting pen there from estabrook so i think with that let's go and do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have a visconti ashford we have a Visconti Race Tech. We have a Visconti Queen's Jubilee uh, Limited Edition. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. We have the Estabrook JR in the Blue Breeze. We have a Pelican M600 Turquoise White. We have a Pelican M800 Vibrant Blue. We have a Twisby Mini AL in the Gold. We have a Twisby Diamond 580 AL. And we have a Twisby Vac 700R in the Iris. So I think let's go and do a writing sample. So this is the Esther book. And it is the uh, JR and it's the Blue Breeze. 
Now it's a medium nib and it is a, just double checking, it is a steel nib. Uh, now the price of these pens uh, come in uh, around about 174 UK pounds. Colt pens are actually selling this for 145. If you then add your 10% promo code discount, then obviously you get another 10% off of that as well. Now the ink in here today, I decided to put in a blue ink and this is Diamine and it's China Blue, which is actually quite a nice sort of China Blue type color. So it's a lighter color that you would typically see on China. Now in terms of line variation here, this is a medium nib. I would typically say that this writes a little bit more towards a fine nib, fine to medium perhaps. Now, if I try to apply a bit more pressure, you can definitely push it, I would say, more towards a broad. And if I do a little bit of pressure here on the downstrokes, you can see that a slight line variation, but it is a steel nib, so just bear that in mind you're not gonna get a huge amount of flex out of a lot of steel nibs. Now, you can see here there's been no hard starts or skips, so this nib is writing very well out of the box. Uh, there is uh, no, the nib is smooth, there is, there's no scratchiness to this nib whatsoever. Now, in terms of uh, ink wetness or nib wetness, let's take a look here. So this is, I'd almost say, bordering on a fire hose of a nib. This is a wet nib for sure. Uh, I typically say this is an A4 page. If uh, you were to have a fire hose nib, then it typically will write from around the midpoint. Uh, the ink will smear from the midpoint uh, outwards. So it's not quite a fire hose nib, but it's bordering on being a fire hose nib. It's quite a wet nib. Uh, you could write with this in a notebook or journal um, fairly easily, but it's going to take a little bit more time to dry. You can see here that probably this uh, ink here, the down strokes here for the line variation uh, are still a little bit wet. So it will take a little bit more longer to dry, but th this pen is actually quite an in interesting pen. What do I like? What do I not like about the pen? Well, I, I like uh, the, the fact that the material they're using has quite a bit of chatoyance. It's a little bit sort of wavy, like the ocean waves or ocean breeze. Uh, this is called the blue breeze, though. Uh, I like the gold trim on this pen as well. I like that it's super lightweight, and I, I do like, actually, that it's a pocket pen because uh, I don't really have that many pocket pens in my collection, and uh, I know a lot of people do like pocket pens. Like, I know the Cavecos are very popular with people because they are a pocket sized pen you can stick them in your your trouser or jean pocket and not necessarily worry about them the only thing i would say with this maybe is that being a pocket pen it is made of resin uh, so it's not made of say brass so you might have to be a little bit careful if you're putting it in a trouser pocket and you're going to go and sit down because that might apply a little bit more pressure to the resin and eventually crack uh, but for me like Personally, I don't put pens in pockets. I, I very rarely do. If I do, it's going to be a shirt pocket. And even then, it's it's fairly rare. I would much prefer to put them in a pen case and actually carry the case around with me. So um, other than that, there really isn't anything I dislike about this pen. Uh, Size-wise, it is actually quite a good size. Um, it comes with a steel nib. Price point, as I mentioned, Retail is 174 UK pound. Colt pens are offering it for 145. So that's my review of the Estabrook JR Blue Breeze. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.